Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome back to Mad Max. So, we've been spending most of our time recently in Pink Eyes territory, which was all that's really remaining to be cleared. We must be approaching the end of the game. I can't help but think that like there's not much left to do. Like It's always possible that the main quest will spin me around for quite a bit, but uh, and there's always the, there's all these little search things we need to do at some point. But uh, in terms of just like camps and such, there's not much left, which is good. We've made progress. So let's see. Let's do something tedious for now. We'll get we'll, get, we'll do some uh, minefields, and then we'll uh, go do something more interesting. Actually, I also would love to get those remaining two things here. Because there's... I don't see the... Um, where are they? The water thing. It should be somewhere. There it is. So we'll go up to that and it will tell us where... Um, where in the waste it is. Probably it's at a site that we haven't uh, discovered. Your car sure looks different from the first time you came here begging for help. Honestly, they haven't really been that helpful. Where is it? It's way up here, yeah. It was a scavenging location that I did not know about. Huh. Well, we'll get that eventually. There's another one around here. There's a, um... The scrap crew? The one the scavenging crew or whatever it is? There's a car. I got turned around. We're heading out, dog. It's telling me to go... Wait, wait, what's happening? Really? A storm approaching already? Well, we're not going to do the storm. We're going to go right back home. Because it's a lightning storm, and those are no fun. <laughs> we're still home! Try it again. So I've been thinking, lately, that it's been quite a while. Like... I don't know, a couple years since I've played any sort of uh, online multiplayer game. Like I, I, I went back for uh, World of Warcraft Legion and uh, played that for a bit. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. We're going to that thing. I've been wondering, maybe I should try it again. Or maybe start like Final Fantasy? The... What is it? The Final Fantasy XIV? Though I, I worry that I won't be able to do much in it. Soto. I kinda, I'm kind of one of those players that spends most of their time playing alone online. That was an epic jump. That was far better than the other jump they've tried. <laughs> they sent me these jumps that are just jumping over something. But twisting all about like that? That's amazing. That is lots of fun. Oh my. That was less good. You got something? We already know about this one, dog. That was right in front of us. The 
The minefields are a little tedious, I have to say. They could have made these more interesting, or not as common. They always feel like a bit of a bit of a chore. Like, I wish they had, like, maybe four or five different special cr structures. And instead of having every zone having two minefields, there'd always be two of these special types of structures. I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining for nothing. I'm sure they intended a lot more of the game than they were able to do. So you always have to, uh... Compromise your vision for practicalities. And probably they don't really expect people to 100% the game. Or to do at least the parts of it that I'm interested in. Most people probably just, uh, I don't know, say, this part's tedious, I'm not going to do it. Like I do, when I say, I'm not going to bother with those races, I don't want to race. Maybe we'll race. I still, I'm still kind of undecided. There's the sun rising in the south, as per usual. Whenever I do the um, quest with a dog, it always makes me want to um, go back and play Fable 2. Because uh, that was like... Hmm. Fable 1 was very good. It was a very good game. It actually felt like a good game. And the whole entire thing where as you did different things, your body developed differently. Like as you stole stuff, you became taller and scarier looking. That was really good. But... Uh, Wait a minute. We cleared this, didn't we? No, we didn't. We still have one left to go. Fable 2, I think, was... Um, the, the, well, fa the problem with Fable is the mechanics were pretty bad. And the, um, the combat, the running around. And it was a great world, a fun story. Terrible. Not terrible, but... Gameplay that could be improved. And Fable 2 improved it. But it made the story more weird. And Fable 3 just killed the story and uh, made me want to start, you know, made me not want to play it any further. Where, well, um, yeah. But Fable 2 was pretty good. It was a good trade off between people's, um, between it being messy and between it being polished. Kind of like Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2 is my favorite of the series because. Well, it, it doesn't have all the fun elements of Mass Effect 1, like all the RPG stuff that I really did enjoy. But it also made the combat a lot more interesting. And then Mass Effect 3 just made, it improved the mechanics, but just totally destroyed the story. So, yeah. Anyway, and other random things. Hey, dude. Girl. You, wasteland walker. You got the looks of a warrior about you. I can tell you this much. The camp there, Warlord Scrotus property, has three big pumps working day and night. If you try your way inside, silence their war cry at first, or the fight's gonna get mighty tough. But hear me, to the right of the entrance, there's another way inside. Smaller. 
they've been telling me these secrets for these places ever since the beginning. And I've never bothered to use them. In fact, I think it's probably a bad idea to use them. If you try to, um... If you skip the perimeter defenses, then they'll start firing at you while you're in the middle of the dungeon. Not dungeon. What am I saying? While you're in the middle of the area, they'll, they'll attack you. Let's go ahead and take, take stuff out. Sure. Bye, dude. That's a Molotov thing. Actually, that, that is quite a lot of defenses. We can take out something. Another Thunderstick launcher. Really? We got the work wire from that? Cool. Lucky. Anyway. Ah, oh, I thought that was an opening. It was not. Are they already attacking me? No, they haven't seen me yet. Yes, they have seen me. Well, that's less than good. I want to get this first. So... Well, let's hope they don't bother. Yeah, yeah, you're all excited. Oh, come on. Now I'm on fire. Wow, they're blowing up my car pretty good. We need to knock out those defenses now. <laughs> but still, it still seems easier to just go ahead and attack these rather than trying to uh, find a secret way in. Um, maybe not. Oh. Oh. Well, that was exciting. The car ready, man? We got one. We'll get another one or two this time before having to back off again, probably. That was not what I wanted to do. Yet yeah, it actually kind of worked. There we go. So yeah, there's a way in. I guess I guess the idea is that that would let me get past the flame pipes, but I don't know. It wasn't that challenging knocking down the gate. <laughs> He's after the guns out. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There's quite a few of them in here. Oh, 
Oh, there's more. Okay. But yeah, the, um, that's that's just ridiculous amounts of them. Oh, wrong direction. That's better. Come on, pick it up. Move, move, move. No. There's more. Where are you? Okay. Okay. Wow, that was our first combat death, I think. Maybe? There were quite a few guys. I think that was like 20 people. We've been killed by storms. We've been killed a ton of do dozens of times by falling. But have we been killed by getting this, like, pup beaten? I don't think so. There! See? The deadliest of storms are coming! Really? Where are we? We're right outside the camp. Well, we're going to go into the camp and we'll do this during the storm. Hear a damn thing. That it? Nope, there's a lot more. What happened to that dude? What am I? Ha what's that? What's going on? I think we got hit by a storm, by the wind or something. And more guys are coming. Oh my god! There we go. But now we can't hear anything for a bit. Because storm. There's still more guys coming, oh my god. 
Is it infinite? There's a war- uh, buckler, dude. Be almost done with the storm because really I can't see a thing and it's really loud. I'm, I'm worried that I'm shouting too loud for my mic. At least it seems like the never ending waves of enemies have, have finished. Well. That was a thing. Havoc point. They shouldn't have left so many explosive barrels around. We didn't get anything there. Wow. That's probably the worst I've ever done prior to completing. Oh well. I blame the storm. Or maybe it's just laid out weird. It's so like all the stuff is behind the objective. Because all those enemies, this enemy after enemy after enemy, were showing up uh, in the front area. The storm's ended, of course. This was a very different camp than usual. One big area. Just a ton of dudes. We are out of water, so we should refill. Was that our first combat death? I'm not sure. Is there? Oh well. I feel a little bad. I am a bad Batman. Ah, up on top. Or right, that's where the war cryer was, and there's a insignia right there. There's the project part and another insignia. Survey crew. Can I zip line here? No, no, that's not a zip line. Almost a 10,000 scrap. Although I think we could probably spend some... Uh, um, okay. I think we could probably spend some of that on um, upgrading our engine and stuff. We'll look in a moment. Get out of my way. So we're still down in Insignia. Hmm. With the storm, it could be anywhere. I just 
I, I, w I wasn't looking around, and if I was, I wouldn't be able to see anything. So. It's probably up somewhere high, because we get these, uh... There it is. Alright. Havoc Point. An interesting camp. Very different from the others. I approve of that. Something interesting. So, there's a history relic and scrap there, and then once you get that, and a minefield apparently somewhere. Okay, this is for back to... Let's, let's get this, and then we can build the two things for um, for Pink Eye, and her, her, her stronghold will be complete. Then we'll go out with uh, the buggy and do survey um, scavenging points. I should have done scavenging points here too, I guess. Oh well. I could have done scavenging points with the buggy here too, is what I was trying to say. Maybe we'll hump happen across it. Really? They just need to stop bothering me. Just, just stop. What you're doing isn't working, man. We need to get up and go back. Um, um... Is it down that way? I think it's down this way. This feels more like uh, the luge than uh, actually driving around. Okay, on foot only. Oh, that's bad luck for you, man. I like the little out of the way caves. Those are cool. Oh! Are you throwing rocks at me? Get down here. Come on. Get down here. You had your chance. I hear people walking. Oh, it's one of them. I hate those. Oh, we got the wrong one. I hate these things. I really hate them. Okay. Think there'll be a boss here, maybe? I could see that. Ow. Uh, top dog roadkill. Whatever they call themselves. It's dead, man. Stop swinging. Yummy. We haven't seen buzzards in quite a while. I don't think they run around anymore. I think they we only find them in in cave in when we go into their like lairs, at the airport. 
they win because their airport was the best place. Okay, let's go home. Well, home to Pink Eyes territory. Her home. It still strikes me as funny that the goal of this game is to slowly dismantle the lingering infrastructure of society. person next to us heard that I did it, so maybe you should have listened to what they said first. Okay, and one more thing. I don't know where it is, either. Is that it? No. Maybe it's upstairs? All the way upstairs, perhaps? No? You who took care of the man scum outside? Thank you. What are you referring to? Scout saw you the other night on the burning man. That's the water thing. Huh. Looking for a blue outline. I don't see one anywhere. Survey crew. Where is it? Out of my way. Out of my way. You're in my way. There you go. You're the one who stole the crop collar. There it is. Little tiny table. The constructionist achievement. I guess because I did all the upgrades in the game and the final tier upgrade here hey. oh it doesn't actually look any different oh well but we did populate a few survey locations that I didn't know about I thought we did pretty well but I guess we missed a few well that's um Let's get the buggy and start going around. Where's my car? Yep. Let's do this, dog. 
It'll be grand. So we still have two camps. We have a camp here and a camp up there. Is that it? I think everywhere else we've done it. Yeah. Ah, uh, which one's close? We have a minefield here or somewhere. So let's just walk through this this area. It's her home area too, so it makes sense that we get it first. Scrap collector for getting over 10,000 scrap. I'm assuming. Which probably means I'm being lazy. Let's go ahead and see what we can upgrade. Engine parts. Engine up to up to 80%. A humongous big chief. And we still need to get it down to zero to unlock the most, the heaviest. Which we're pretty close to, actually. So, uh, yeah, that'd be good. Stop, stop, stop spinning around. It's too windy up here. This is not it. This is somewhere I've been before. This is so bumpy. How about that over there? Have I been there? I guess I must have. Otherwise it would be marked. But if we'd been there, I, th I would have thought I'd have gotten this one. Oh well. The Raggedy Man? That's my name? The Raggedy Man? Cause I don't I look fine. I don't know what they're talking about. None of those beard upgrades. Where's the other scrap? There it is. Now, apparently we just never went back to the jaw. To the sides of the jaw, we just went through it. You can see the um, the windmills. And that guy's just... Uh, is that still in cheese territory? No, that the windmills are like right around here. That's guy, guy, No, I'm sorry, they're right there, obviously. Which is in Gutgash's territory. This is very bright, this part of the game. That's it? Really? Okay. Oh, oh dear. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. It looked at me. Well, now you will die too. See, that's just annoying. Why did it drop the weapon and then do a shiv execution instead of just killing him with the weapon? I was. I just. I pressed A when it said to press A. Oh well. So on the other side of the jaw, this one has a history relic, so it's more important. 
really the the one scrap for to clear the location is though annoying. I wish that they um, incentivized these locations a bit better. Ah oh, well, I shouldn't be so negative. Oh. Up, up and around. Shooter. Or what do they call them? Lead stingers? Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. We slain Gastown War Parties. We'll kill you easy. Got him dry. Where? Where are we going? Where? Where are you, man? There you are. You're stuck in a wall. Okay. And apparently there's a way down here, too. More enemies here? There's the relic. Approach at your own risk. If we don't know you, we will shoot. If we are acquainted, yell your business from the driveway. No exceptions. I've never approved that whole not blue shoot it uh, philosophy. Do we miss one or is there one upstairs? Probably there's one upstairs. There it is. Okay. We're doing a terrible job at finding uh finding the mining sites, mined areas, but that's fine. We'll get them eventually. Come on, dog. Point me in the right direction. Oh, I hate those things. At least, it's just, at least it's not those uh, roadkill anymore. I get annoyed fighting them over and over again. These guys are more challenging, by far. Ah, there's a relic here, too. There it is. I don't know what this is. That's a campground with clothes? Sheriff, this is what remains of our homestead, our hideaway from a world gone insane. You think it was the MPs? No, it was the locals. We got a split before they kill us. Post answer here, Leanna. Never build. Never stop. Never look back. 
That's a very negative attitude, man. Need to look on the bright side of things. Uh, what should we do? Maybe just sort of head up in this direction, hoping we bump into a, a mine area. Hopefully the dog will let us know where it is at some point. We even have some candidates ready to help us um, clear it. Scavenging site off. Okay, I'm going into the other area. Sure, we'll get it while we're while we're in the neighborhood. Get back up. I can get back up. I can do it. There you go. Oh my. And what's with this dramatic music? I have to admit, this is a good spot for a, a base. You can see all around. There's that uh, highway, the fallen highway bridge. Ah, why am I not turning? Turn. There you go. Let's go running, dog. But he never actually goes anywhere. I think he was supposed to. Well, this is grim. Some dudes. Stinky was a good guy. He was a little weak and always complaining about his stomach hurting, but solid and one of our own. Peace out, brothers. Tycho. That was close. They dropped off one by one until they went on. <sighs> oh, there is there scrap here? No, that was it. That's kind of grim, I have to say. So we went ahead back towards that mark. Just get me pointing in the right direction, please, car. And this dog is being very unhelpful. You should be detecting things. We're in the wrong zone. But still, there's, there's things in there to detect also. Wow, it looked like the car was kind of hopped up. This car might be a little slower than our main car. The buggy is slower than our car. But the physics makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> Bounces around all over the place. Look at that. Our car would have just stopped. Instead, we just go flying. Nothing? Dog, you are such a disappointment to me. Well, ah. Uh, Sounds like an air raid siren. I think I'm on the wrong side. They want me to be over there and do it. The 
this is probably a bad idea in a buggy. buggy. <laughs> it counted! What is that? Oh, this is probably a scarecrow. It's just missing a scarecrow now. Come on, dog. We've been like everywhere. We're going towards the jaw. No, we're not. We're actually. I, I thought I, I'm in a different place than I thought I was. You got something? There we go. Dog finally proved useful. There they are. Come on, dog. Off this way more. There we go. Pink Eye Thrives for clearing, uh, I guess, Knit Sack. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break there, so thank you, everybody, for watching. My name is Michael Young, and this is Mad Max.